should be live here. Uh, are we live? Are we live? Are we live? It will tell you soon, Daddy. <laughs> no, no, are we live? Are we live? Are we live? Are we live? Okay, stop, please. Live? Stop. All right. We are. It looks like we're live. All right. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. All right. We're going to wait a minute or two for a few people watching. We got Coach Steph and Coach Ethan already. We got Aaron. Oh, hey, look at We're going up there. Oh, Coach Lauren says hi. All hi. right. Good morning, good morning. Wait for a few more people here. All right, are you ready, Aubrey? Yes, I am ready. You I'm are never, ready? I'm never not ready. You're never not ready? Yeah, <laughs> I'm never not ready. All right. Oh, Coach Ethan says, hi, Coach Aubrey. Thank you, Coach Steph. It was looking great. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Give it a, give it a couple more seconds and we can get going here. All right. Are you ready to go? Are you Are you ready? Okay. So. Oh, so we're gonna look at the. We're gonna try to look at the camera as much as possible so that they can see your wonderful smiley face. Uh, I'm Coach Aaron for anybody watching. Uh, this is my daughter Aubrey. Welcome Hi. to our home. Uh, we are going to do a workout today based on some trampoline and tumbling uh, skills, uh, but also just to get your heart moving, get it pumping, and uh, just kind of have a great way to get started this morning, get your body going. All right. Oh, good morning, Coach Becky. You're on there too. All right. So what we're going to do to start out here is uh, we're going to do a dynamic warm-up. Um, and then we're going to move on to some interval stuff where we'll get your body moving real, real fast. Uh, during the course of the workout today, you'll want a towel or a rope or a shirt, uh, anything that you can hold on to. Uh, I got a smaller one for Aubrey. I got a regular size one for myself. Um, adults, you can join in this too. You'll have some fun there. Uh, and then on the floor here, I made a couple of lines, just real short ones out of painter's tape. Uh, you could use anything. If I didn't have tape, I could use this line on the, in my carpet. Uh, it would be no problem at all. So to start off with, we're going to start with our dynamic warm up. Uh, I'm going to go turn on a little bit of uh, music. Hopefully, uh, hopefully we don't get the ads in the middle of it. <laughs> Yes, because ads are very annoying. Just give a little bit of background so we're not totally bored today. Yes. All right, so Aubrey, I just want you to follow along. She has not seen this at all, so she is going to be doing this along with me like she's learning it just like you guys. All right, so for our first thing we're going to do, we're going to start off, we're going to just kind of start warming up, and we're going to do a simple knee to our chest. So we're going to pick, hold on to our knee, and we're going to pull it towards our chest, and then we're going to go up onto our toes, and then we'll switch up to our other leg, and we're getting a little bit of a balance, and we're just going to go back and forth, okay? Just pull our knee into our chest, up onto our toes, okay? Start getting those things going. So on this one, we're giving a stretch to our hamstrings back here, we're going up onto our toes, so we're getting a little stretch on our calf muscles. And now we're gonna do something called a leg cradle. So it's gonna be just like that one, except for now we're gonna twist our leg a little bit. So you're gonna grab your ankle. I'll try not to lose my balance. And pull my knee into my chest, okay? So grab your ankle, pull your knee towards your chest, and stay on your feet. Don't do that. So we're just, your ankle, not your foot. Your ankle. Well, it helps if you don't bend that other knee. All right. Oh, good morning, Coach Karen. I see you there. Thank you for joining us this morning. All right. 
and we're doing our leg cradles. So grabbing onto that ankle, pulling in. All right. The next thing we're gonna do, we're gonna do a backwards lunge. So I'm gonna kind of go to the side here so you can see it. And then we're gonna do a stretch uh, with our upper body. It's gonna stretch out our entire front, our hip flexors, our hamstrings, our calves, a lot of stuff. So we're gonna go back as far as we can. We're gonna make sure our toes are going in a straight line. And then we're gonna reach up and back and try to get a stretch all along this, all the way down. Steal a little from yoga here. And going back a little bit like this. We're gonna switch legs again. Can you go sideways so we can see ya? Okay, stretching back, stretch, switch legs again, and stretch back. All right, stretch back. All right, good. All right, the next thing we're gonna do is we're going to do a, we're gonna make our body into a T-shape. So it's gonna help our balance. And the thing is, is we wanna make our body into a T and we want to stretch our hands and our foot as far away from each other as possible. I'm going to have you go sideways so you don't kick me. Okay. okay. Sideways. And back up. Get ourselves into our T shape. Daddy, how about and back up. Yep, you're going to switch legs each time. Switch legs each time. Lots of balance. Daddy? Yep. Can we point her? Yes, pointing your toe would be awesome. Right. Good catch there, Aubrey. All right. Feels great, Coach Steph. Awesome. <laughs> Coach Karen's telling me I have the best splits. Well, I think they've gone down a little bit during these last couple of weeks. I don't think I've been stretching as much as I should have. All right. Now, this goes back to my soccer days. It's a quad stretch with what we call a little bit of a Superman. So it's very similar to that T-stretch we just did, but we're gonna add in a quad stretch. So you're gonna hold on to your back leg, put your arm up tall, and bend forward. You do that? Oops. Now you wanna keep your heel up by your butt. Okay, put your heel up by your butt, and just try to balance. And it helps when your leg is straight now. Yes, you can have a little bit of bend in your knee so that you can balance better. Uh, re adding the counter relief here. And back. And tip forward. All right, does that feel good? Feeling good, feeling good? You're sitting there watching yourself, aren't you? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Now this one is called a toe touch squat. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna get our feet a little bit wider than our butt, okay? And we're gonna put our hands up above our head like this. And then we're gonna bend over, touch our toes, touch our toes. Then we're gonna drop our bottom down to the floor, arms above our head, and stand up tall. We're gonna do about five of these. So bend over, drop your bottom down, hands above your head, and stand up. So do it in order. Drop your hands down, drop your bottom down, arms up, and stand up. Down to the floor, drop your bottom down, Hands up, stand up. And one more just for good measure. Bend over, drop your bottoms down, hands above your head, stand up tall. Oh, I'm sweating already. Me too. All right. I have to hold my back. Aubrey, hold on to the couch. Yeah, you should probably do that. Uh, did Aubrey have spaghetti for breakfast? She's a noodle today. That's what Coach Ethan said. Right? <laughs> Maybe. All right, we're gonna do something called a squat shuffle. So we're gonna go down into a deep squat, okay? We can have our hands out, we can have our hands down, and we're gonna shuffle side to side, okay? Just go as far as you can in your living room. My living room's kinda of small, so I can go about two squat shuffles. And that's about it, keep going. Back and forth, not quite so low. <laughs> not quite that low, there we go. And back and forth. Feeling my thighs and feeling my run that I decided to do yesterday that I haven't done in way too long. I can do four. You can do four? Yeah. Well, with nice uh, shorter legs there, you have a little bit more of an advantage than I do. All right. Now we're going to get our hips moving. So we're going to do what's called an internal rotation with an external rotation. So an internal, we're going to bring our leg across 
and external is going out. Okay? So you can lift your knee up, in and out. In and out. Okay? Can you do that? In and out. Okay? Switch your legs. In and out. In and out. Okay? Get our hips moving. In and out. All right. So what we've been doing mostly has been our lower body. Now we want to start warming up our upper body a little bit because gymnastics, we have all sorts of stuff there. All right. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to do an inchworm, okay? So we're going to drop our hands down to the ground. We're going to walk our hands all the way out. Now, if you want to do a little extra, add a push-up in there, and then we'll walk our hands back, okay? And stand up tall. Okay, stand up tall, stand up tall. Walk your hands back, stand up tall. All right, good. Now we'll reach down again. Walk our hands out. For those wanting a little extra, add in the push-up. And then back up to tall. Okay, we'll do another one. Walk our hands out. Add in the push-up if you want. That's three. All right, do another one. Add in the push-up if you want. Oh, very good, Aubrey. I like it. And then one more. Drop your hands down. Push up if you want. And back. All right, that gets a lot of our upper body going. Still gives us a nice stretch on our hamstring. Your shoulders are starting to wake up a little bit. And as we do that, we're gonna do. Uh, we're gonna do one more thing, then we'll start doing some arm circles. So we're gonna go into a Spider-Man. I'm gonna do this sideways. So you can see it okay so we're down here and what I'm gonna try to do is I'm gonna try to bring my knee up and touch my elbow okay bring my knee up touch my elbow we're gonna do five of those each side so we can alternate all right you can go you can go forward again because we got so much room all right knee to elbow knee to elbow that's one knee to elbow elbow two that's three, four each side, and five each side. All right. Am I getting tired yet? This is still a warm up. <laughs> Oops, get rid of my note and security. All righty. All right, now we're just gonna do a little bit of arm circles. We're gonna really wake up our shoulders, okay? So we can do some shoulder rolls first. Okay, we'll go backwards, and then we'll come forward and do the forward direction. All right, now we'll get our arms out. We'll go little backward circles. Start little. Just start warm, warming them up. Get a little bit bigger, a little bit bigger. All right, there you go. All right, back to little ones forward, little ones forward. All right, get bigger. And bigger and bigger. Any questions there? Ah, Coach Seth is loving it. All right, awesome. All right. All right. Now, this is going to ramp into some of our trampoline techniques. Uh, we're going to do some trampoline arms. They're kind of like, they're kind of like um, what you would do if you're making a snow angel. So we're going to whip. We're going to go off to the side, and we're going to go up. Into our toes, and we're gonna do a nice tall tada with our or straight position up onto our toes. Stay nice and straight, Aubrey. Nope, don't bend down. Just go under your heels up and down. Up and down. Get that whole body moving. Getting that whole body moving. Alright. Good job. Alright. Now we're just gonna get, now if you're not sweating enough like I am, now we're gonna just get ourselves moving a little bit more dynamically. So, we're gonna start out, we're gonna jog in place here. Nathan is watching and working out with you. Awesome, Nathan, thanks for joining us. All right. We're gonna jog in place, just jog in place. Let's try to get our knees up high when we're jogging. Knees up, knees up. High knees. Yeah, there you go, high knees. All right, then can we, Go and kick ourselves in the behind. Butt Some kickers. Butt kickers, there you go. So go this way. All right. All right, now 
You think it's easy to skip in place? So we're gonna skip. So we're gonna bring our knee up and hop. And we're gonna try to make our arms go opposite of our legs. You don't want your arms to be straight in the back like that. Yeah, you don't want to cast your hands out. That's right. Coach Cindy, I hope you're watching. Aubrey's been paying attention during the uh, running drills for vault. <laughs> All right. Now, do you think you can skip really, really high? See how high you can skip. So we're gonna up, up, yeah, up. I can't remember which leg I'm on. <laughs> up, and one more. Oh, no, this one. There we go. All right. Oh, now, I'm sweating. You're sweating already? We're almost done with the warm up and into the real workout, guys. Oh, Coach Jesse's watching. Hi, Jesse. <laughs> All right, you ready for a few jumping jacks? Should we do 10 of them? Do 10 jumping jacks? All right, you ready? 10 jumping jacks. Let's go. One, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. All right, good jumping jacks. Now, this one is just to get our feet moving quickly and be really good about having those, uh, having our hips moving back and forth and our getting quick feet. So this is called a karaoke or a grapevine. Aubrey, uh, have you done these before? All right, so your foot goes in front, apart, behind, apart. Now I've got a really short space here. So we're gonna try to get as many in as we can. So just back and forth a little bit. Yep, in front, behind, oops. It is tough, isn't it? Good job. Apart and back and forth. I think I'm going to go. There you go. Oh, remember to switch between in front and behind. Behind. All right. You made it through the warm up. So now, <laughs> and I'm breathing heavy, I'm sweating a little bit, but our bodies are all warmed up. And we're ready to move into the next phase. You dying already over there? So we're gonna go into the warm up, our actual workout phase. So some of these will have some very direct ways that you'll see in trampoline and tumbling. Some of them are just to strengthen you up in certain areas, which uh, is good either way. I'm talking a little bit to give you a chance to catch your breath. Uh, that's usually how I do it when I'm working with kids is I talk to make a break. All right, so we're gonna do a couple of rounds. Anybody on there? All right. Coach Steph's on up there watching? Awesome. All right, so we're gonna do a couple exercises between three and four exercises in a row, and then we're gonna go back and do it. We're gonna do it about 15 seconds, roughly. I'm not gonna do it exact, but about 15 seconds, switch to another exercise, and switch to another exercise. All right, for this one, you're gonna need your towel. So, but it's gonna be in the third exercise. So, just want you to get it rolled out there, okay? And get it out there in front of you, ready to go. All right. Yeah, that's where, that works, perfect, awesome. All right, so we're gonna do a squat jump. So I'm gonna demonstrate the exercises really quick so you know what you're doing, and then we can, uh, then we can all do them together. So our squat jump. We want our feet about hip width apart, our toes roughly forward, they can be turned out slightly. The important thing is our knees go over our toes and we keep our chest as high as we can. Yeah, you don't want to turn them out. We're not doing sumo squats. So we want to do it because we're going to jump. So we don't want to be that wide. A little narrower. 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 A little narrower, like me. Just stand normal. Stand normal. There we go. And we're gonna go down as far as we can. Now normally I'd say put your hands up front, but in this case we wanna jump. So you wanna get your arms ready to jump, and then jump as high as you can, okay? Squat down and jump, okay? That's our first exercise that we're gonna do. Then we're gonna do a, a handstand hold on whatever you got. Now, I've got a couch here that I'm gonna have Aubrey do it on, and I'm also gonna do it on my chair over here, and we're gonna make our body into a pike. So our hands will go back, our feet will go back. You mean a pike handstand? A pike handstand, you're right, Aubrey. And hold it like that. So we're gonna hold that for 15 seconds. You can come down. 
Our third one is gonna be our towel row. We're gonna grab our towel, sit down, and we're gonna use our legs to give ourselves resistance, pull backwards, and then push out, okay? This one serves two purposes. You get a little bit of a pulling motion and you get a little bit of a leg workout. And our last one's gonna be a simple plank. I think we'll, we'll just get to that one. All right, you ready, Obs? Yeah. All right, hopefully you're ready here. All right, we're gonna go for about 15 seconds and then switch to the next exercise. You ready? Oh, hold on, nope. We're gonna do our, we're gonna do our squat jumps first, okay? All right, are you ready? Hope you're ready out there. All right, squat down, jump up as high as you can, okay? And squat down, jump up. Squat down, jump up. Squat down, jump up. Squat down, jump up. Now, if you wanna make it more trampoline and tumbling in your jump, feet together and toes pointed in the air, okay? So that'll be more of our shape. I don't wanna to go too high because I don't wanna scrape my fingers on the ceiling. All right, now, we're gonna to move to our handstand hold, okay? So we're gonna move over to wherever you're doing your handstand holds. Come on, let's do it. Get in our handstand. And we'll count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. All right, good job, good job. And if you want to, you can roll it down from it. Yeah, yes, you can roll down from it. Coach Julian says, go, Aubrey. Thanks, Good Coach Julian. Good morning. All right, now we've Aubrey. got our towels out in front of us. Finally, we did this is towels, Yep, towels out in front. Finally. Now I want you to use your feet to give you a little bit of resistance and pull all the way back. Oh, we're going to stay up. We're gonna stay up. Pull. And push with your legs. Make it hard. Make it hard, but not impossible. Hard but not impossible. Out and in. Out and in. Out and in. Anytime, Coach Steph. Anytime. And in. All right. Now, we'll put that back out there for the next time. And we'll get ready for our plank. Okay? So, come on. Come on. You can do it. All right. In order to get a perfect plank every time, I start out with my body flat and get my elbows ready. Try to be right underneath my shoulder. And then when I pop up and squeeze my body tight, I end up in the right spot. Now you're doing a nice turtle back. So let's do a plank. Are you gonna do a gymnastic plank? All right. I'd say that's about five. We're gonna do 15 seconds. Oh, stay up, stay up. Oh, get that butt down. We don't need a mountain. And rest. All right, good job. All right, you ready to round two? You want to do round two? Steph, Steph, Steph says she wants to take his, your class. She, she did say she wanted to take my class more often. Aubrey's learning to read, so she's reading everything. Yeah, like, I want to read, like, everything and nothing. Mm. All right, we're going to do this one again. We're going to do this a second time. So we're going to start with our squat jumps. So we're going to squat down, jump up. Okay, squat down, okay. jump up. I'm going to try to make sure my knees... My feet come together, my legs. Up, up, keep going, keep going. Don't put your hands down or else you're gonna scrape them. I don't wanna do that. All right, and then gotta go do our handstands, right? So let's go over to the couch, do our handstands. So, again, again. come on, don't peter out on me. Let's go, let's go. So it's important for kids, if they do need to take a break, let them take a break, that's okay. You know, they have a tendency to go full out and uh, and not necessarily regulate. I think that was about 15 seconds. I'm going to say it was. All right, and we're going to go back and grab our towels again. You ready? Come on, Hobbs. All right, grab on, pull back, push out. Pull back, push out. You got it. Come on. Doesn't have to be perfect. Just grab it and go. All right. Nope. And keep going. Daddy, keep going. is anyone new watching? Uh, I can't see the whole bit. we got about 13 people watching, so that's pretty cool. Thanks for joining us if you're on there. All right. And back and out. All right. You ready for that plank again? All right. We can put that out there. And do our plank. 
All right. Oh, come on. Let's get into our plank. And lay flat. And then squeeze. Oh, no, keep the butt down. All right. You can count for us? Okay, thank you. Five. Eight, nine, 10, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 15 all right. 15, 15, 15, 15. Ah. You gonna show me up here? <laughs> Coach Ethan, I wish she would have a great nap later. I don't know that she naps. Hey, Coach Sheridan. Hi, Coach Sheridan. Hi. All right. Now we're gonna go to our next one. So now we're gonna use that line that we want. And we're gonna jump forward and backwards over it. So this is quick, okay? So our feet are gonna be kind of together and we're gonna go back and forth, okay? Let's go back and forth, back and forth. I'm gonna need my towel to wipe the sweat off. I'm working hard here. Keep going, keep going. And rest. All right, from here, we're gonna do a little thing, a little push up with a hand hop, okay? Not actually oh, going. I think I know what you're talking about. Well, we're not actually gonna do, we're gonna go out and in in a push up. So we're gonna come down here and then we're just gonna hop wide, narrow. Yep, wide, narrow. Wide, narrow. Now, when you're doing this, make sure you don't lock out too hard because it can jar your elbows pretty badly and we don't wanna do that too much, okay? So. Have a little bit of looseness in your elbows, but it, you want to keep yourself up too. Okay, you ready? All right, let's go about five seconds more, okay? One. Down five. And you'll use that a lot in tumbling when you start getting into back handsprings and stuff. It's good jarring to get that going. All right, we're going to do something called a floor press. Now, I don't have a chin-up bar in here or anything like that that I can pull on right now. So I'm gonna find other ways to do the opposite motion, opening up my chest and making my back stronger. Uh, <laughs> yes, that is a Barbie mansion you see. It, uh, her room's so small, it has to live in here. All right. For a reverse, we're gonna lay it flat on our back, okay? And we're gonna push up with our elbows. We're gonna push our elbows into the ground and get our back off the ground. If you want to make it hard, well, we're gonna do that later. If you want to do it a little harder, try to get your bottom off the ground too. That's hard, okay? No. But up. Okay, quit showing me up. <laughs> and up and down, and up and down. All right, go ahead, stand back up. All right, let's get back to our line. Got to do these all over again. Second round. All right, ready? Stand behind the line. Stand behind the line. All right, and forward and backward, forward and backward, go. You got it, you got it. Keep going, keep going. Front, behind, front, behind. I wish I could jump rope. <laughs> You'll get there, okay, and rest. All right, where are you going? <laughs> All right, go back to those push-up hand hops. So we'll go down and Go to here, out, in, out, in, out, in, out, in, out, in, out, in. All right, good job. And then on to our back. Already tired, Coach Sheridan? <laughs> I am. I got a little sweat going on, so. All right, lay it on our back, and then press with our elbows. Press up. Press it up, press it up. You keep your tummy tight, you get a little bit of ab work in there too. Press up, press up, press up. All right, good job. Okay, that was two rounds of that. All right. So now we're gonna go, we don't need our line anymore. We're gonna do what's called a split. No, we're gonna use it again, so we're gonna leave it there. All right, we're gonna do a split squat jump, but we're gonna alternate our feet, okay? So this is really heavy on our quads, gets into our calves a little bit, and then definitely some coordination and balance, because we're gonna jump, switch our feet. Okay, can you do that? Oh, you don't need to do a leap, just switch. 
okay? I'm trying to do her beam work while she's at it. All right, so let's go, let's do, our, let's do our 15 seconds, okay? So keep going, one, keep going, jump, up and switch, 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 up and switch. All right, this is getting all those big jumping muscles. All right, from here, we're gonna do some donkey kicks, okay? So we're gonna practice those things that help us get our handstands and other moves like that. So can you help me? Oh. You know how to do these. So our three-legged doggy hops, depending on which one we're doing. All right, arms up by your ears, down and up, okay? Oh, nice handstand. If you wanna make it harder, you can just try to put it up into a handstand. There you go, Coach Aubrey knows. So we're working our shoulders on these, we're working our hands. Good stuff. All right. And then finally, we're gonna go into our hollow hold. So we're gonna go on the ground, okay? So, I'm done. shoulders off the ground, feet off the ground. You can hover your hands over your knees. If you wanna make them a little harder, arms above your head. And if you wanna make them even harder, rock back and forth. Or like this. You could. And we'll hold that for 15 seconds. Getting tired here. All right, let's go back to our split squat jumps. Okay, you ready? All right, ready? And let's go. Up. Up and down, switch those feet. You're supposed to be the one with energy, not me. <laughs> up and down, up and down, up and down. All right. That was good to me. All right, we're ready to do our kick-ups, our donkey kicks. Okay, we get our lunge. Okay, arms up by your ears. And kick up. I do my handstand. Yeah, you can do your handstand. I'm going to practice my handstand. All right. I almost walked on it. Yeah. We'll keep going. A couple more. And one more. All right. And if you can't go up that high, no problem at all. All right. Yeah. Back down for our hollow hold rocks. All right. Level one, level two, and level three. That doesn't look like a hollow hold rock. <laughs> all right. Let's catch our breaths for a second here. All right. All right, now, got a couple more left and then we're gonna start, start uh, cooling down. All right, you ready to work with me on this next one? You gotta stand up. I'm tired. You're tired? I gotta catch my breath too, because I'm starting to huff and puff here. All right, for this one, we're gonna stand next to our line sideways, okay? And, we're gonna go back and forth. So we're gonna do our jump, quick jumps, okay, you ready? We're gonna go like this, back and forth. Feet together, back and forth. Whoop. Stay in your feet, back and forth. All right, rest. All right. So our next one, we're gonna work on the pushing muscles again, for those muscles we need for doing our handstands our cartwheels, anything where we're supporting ourselves with our hands. Arms, oh, we're not doing those yet. All right, you ready? We're gonna do a push-up plank. So we're gonna go down into that push-up position, or that plank position, up and down. Up and down. We're pushing, we can switch the direction, okay? Push, using those muscles that we need. For our handsprings, our handstands, our cartwheels, and all that. All right, good. And then we're gonna do something called a prone snow angel, okay? So it's gonna look a little weird. Hopefully you'll be able to see it. All right, you're gonna lay down on your stomach. 
you're gonna go up like this, and then you're gonna move your arms in a snow angel. Okay. It's kind of like your swing. Oh, straight legs. Straight legs. Yeah. So up and down like this. All right, good. I thought we were going to do banana. So you're really gonna get your back muscles when you're doing that. Yeah, I thought we were going to do banana boat. Thought <laughs> we were gonna do a banana boat? Isn't that what the hollow rocks were? No, this is banana. Oh, that, that, okay. All right, we're back up again. So we're gonna stand beside our line, you ready? Are we tired? We're getting close, kiddo, we're getting close. All right, ready, go. Side to side. Back and forth, back and forth. Back and forth. Oh, Coach Becky's getting her pump on. Hi, Coach Becky. And rest. She's up there, not over there. Hi, Coach Becky. All right. Uh, Coach Steph, she's getting a good workout, and so am I. All right. <laughs> Coach Sheridan's back has been idled. Hopefully it hurts so good. All right, we're gonna go back to our plank push-ups. So we can start high if we want to, or low. We'll go right arm first. Are you coming, or are you just hanging out on the couch? And then we'll switch. Up and down, up and down. Now make it harder, make sure your butt's not wiggling. I forgot that a little bit. I let my butt wiggle. All right, and then we're gonna do our angels. <laughs> my feet are freezing. <laughs> All right, down on your stomach, and up and down, back and forth, like you're making a snow angel on your tummy. All right. Take a quick breath here. All right. You need some water? Okay, grab a drink of water if you need. Go ahead. All right. All right, we're gonna do one more and then we're gonna start cooling down. All right, so we're gonna go back to that split, spot, split squat jump, but this time we're not gonna switch our legs back and forth. We're just going to jump and have our legs stay the same. So we'll do a few of them on one side and then we'll switch the other way. So we'll go up. You gotta keep your balance. Turn this way so I can see you better. And then we can switch our legs. Up. Our focus is on our front leg, but our back leg functions as balance and just that little extra boost. All right. Now, we're gonna get back down into our push-up position, and we're gonna do shoulder taps. So, we're down here. The wider your feet, the more stability you have. The narrower your feet, the more of a challenge. If you really want a challenge, go to one foot. And we'll tap back and forth. And we'll keep going, keep it going. Try not to rock too much. So you're getting a good core workout. So I was rocking side to side a little bit to be able to show you how to stiffen up and then keep yourself more stable. All right. And then Aubrey had mentioned this earlier when we did our presses. All right. So we're gonna get in this position right here, arms behind us, and then we're gonna squeeze our glute muscles those are your be that's your behind muscles, and push up. So you're also gonna squeeze your back muscles too to get both of them. I'm starting to breathe a little hard here. I'm ready for cool down too. Mm -hmm. All right, up and down. Daddy, up, yeah, kill. I'm good right now. Up and down, up and down. All right, one more of those and then we'll start cooling down. All right. So, we're gonna go to our split squats, and we're gonna do our jumps. We'll do a few with one foot leg in front, switch and do the other, all right? 
All right, ready, go. Keep going, we're almost there, we're almost home. Almost ready to cool down. Switch legs. You with me? Then shout with me. All right. You ready to go into our shoulder taps? So we're gonna go into our push-up position while you were getting a drink, so. All right, wide legs, level one. Easiest to stay really stable. Narrow legs, a lot more core work to try not to rock. And really hard, one foot up in the air. This isn't that hard. Yeah, but you gotta be doing this. <laughs> All right, and then our last thing. Uh, yep, she is doing a great job keeping up with our school age tramp and tumbling students. All right, you are. And then press up and down. 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 All right. I think that's a good place. Your back is. <laughs> yeah, it's a workout. All right. Daddy. It's time to cool down a little bit. Daddy, you want to give me a drink of water? Sure, I'll take a drink of water. Thank you, kiddo. There you go. All right. So, now we're just going to get into a little bit of stretching here. So we'll go to bike. Oh, not quite so close. <laughs> Need a little bit of space. All right. And just stretch. Now, I'm stretching at the end right now just to cool my muscles down. It's a, it's a signal to my body that it's just time to bring it down, to cool down. I'm gonna remember to breathe through my nose, breathe out through my mouth. A little hard to do when you're talking. Can you just, set uh, time to bring it down? Can you scoot over? So, then we're gonna do a straddle next. Okay. All right. And our muscles are already warm. The tendons and the fascia that's keeping everything together is still warm. So we're not going to be making any big range of motion changes with our stretching. That you need to do when you're cold, but it can give us a little bit of a, you know, just like I said, a signal to cool down. All right, can you go in front of me a little bit and do our straddle? Okay, you can get as wide as you want. You're not really trying to do this to get your big, big straddle, but we'll go down to one leg. We can either go both legs at the time. You can do this one, it's up to you. I prefer this method, just what I'm comfortable with. We can switch over to the other side. Let's try to get our nose dirty. Yeah, you want to try to get, can you get your, oh, she got her nose dirty. I can do it. <laughs> Good job, kiddo. And then try to get ourselves forward. When you're doing your stretch forward, great if you can do that. You want to try to hinge at your hips and push your tummy Ow. to the ground. When you push your chest to the ground, Ow. you're rounding your back and that's just not good for your back. Okay. All right. Yeah, there you go. Nice and easy, nice and easy. All right. <laughs> this isn't that hard as she's doing something different. Yeah. That's kind of how it usually goes when I'm training people. Here, do this. Yeah, coach, I am. No, you're not. <laughs> All right. And your butterfly shape is really good for when you're doing your, uh, right after your straddles or you're doing your splits because it kind of just shakes out your hips joints a little bit. All right. How's that going? Okay. <laughs> oh, you just like watching yourself on the computer, don't you? Watch them up there. Say hi to the, you know, you, you want to engage with the people. <laughs> All right. We're going to go with our back muscles and get our shoulder across, our arm across. Stretch out that shoulder. You want to pull. Switch to the other side. This is sometimes Oh, you do this before music in school? Yeah. yeah. Okay. All right. We want to open up the chest a little bit, so we're going to put our arms behind. 
and then I want you just to scoot forward just till it starts to pull. Don't make it hurt, just till you start to pull. All right, don't keep your butt on the ground. Keep your butt on the ground. All right, and a lot of these stretches are the ones that I do before classes usually, but today, because we were doing a lot of uh, high energy fitness stuff, I decided to do it before, or after, I mean. Whew. All right. Today is not a good day for walks. Today's not, yeah, today's not a great day for walks because it's kind of cold and snowy. All right, so something that I do with my strength clients, it's called a rest posture. And it is just a big signal to the entire body to calm down. We focus on our breathing. So this one, I'm sitting on my heels. I definitely don't want to go into a W sit. That's going to be bad for my hips. But I want to keep myself knees together, sit down, good posture. And if you want to, you can close your eyes um, and just kind of sit there. Easy breath in. You're not doing really big breaths. You're just doing normal breaths. Big breaths is usually a signal to ramp up. Light breaths is now I'm coming down or yawns. <laughs> All right. All right. Well, thank you so very much for spending about 45 minutes with us. I hope you got an awesome workout. Um, we love to see videos of you doing your thing. Uh, post it to our MHG, MH Gymnastics uh, Facebook page. Uh, Go check out, uh, our, make sure you hashtag it, hashtag virtual MHD. Check out our videos on YouTube. Come back, see us every weekday at 10 o'clock in the morning for our virtual classes. Um, and keep an eye out for all the new content we're putting up online. Uh, you want to say bye to everybody? Bye. All right. Hope you like our video. <laughs> all right. Thanks, everybody. Have a wonderful day. We'll see you soon. Hopefully you can watch it tomorrow.